Hello and welcome to Amjad Academy. In a biomolecule, today I will discuss next point is ring structure of glucose and fructose. So first we will see ring structure of glucose. This was our previous structure of glucose and it is projected by Fischer. It is also called as Fischer projection formula. Fischer projection formula. It is written in the form of Fischer projection. Next, we will see why we need ring structure of glucose. Although we have a straight chain molecule with us. So, the reason is that there are some reaction which is not uh, which is not giving a positive re re positive result of this aliphatic this one is uh, chain structure of glucose so this was our straight chain molecule and it is not giving some reactions which is needed by this formula so scientists has said there is a another formula of this glucose which is called as Howard projection. Howard projection, it is the name of new cyclic structure of our glucose molecule. So let me write the name of scientist is Howard. Howard projection. Howard projection of glucose he has given the ring structure or i may say cyclic structure of glucose once again i repeat why we need ring structure because there are some reactions which is not giving positive result of this our free aldehyde group if you see in this structure you can see it has cho group which is free nobody is attached to that that's why we i am calling it free but it is not giving us free aldehyde group reactions so there is another there is a possibility of another structure and which uh, the structure given by the Howard it is called ring structure of glucose so before going towards Howard projection let me tell you what is hemiacetal we need this topic hemiacetal group hemiacetal so i have this aldehyde group with me it is our aldehyde aldehyde when it reacts with alcohol let me write it as alcohol it will give me in the presence of acid what it will give me this oxygen of alcohol will attack on the carbonyl carbon this carbon oxygen double bond will convert it into single bond and will get R single bond C single bond O negative single bond H single bond O single bond H positive single bond R. So this ox negative oxygen what it will do it will abstract this hydrogen to make this oxygen as a neutral this carbon oxygen bond electron will shift towards oxygen and what we will get we will get R single bond C single bond H single bond O H single bond O R so if a carb chiral carbon contains one alkoxy group it is called alkoxy and one hydroxyl group it is called hemiacetal hemiacetal it is hemiacetal it is a hemiacetal the same way reaction will go in our glucose molecule as you can see it contains hydroxyl group that is alcoholic group and aldehyde group 
सो द रिएक्शन इज पॉसिबल बिटवीन ओ एच एंड सी एच ओ सो विल सी whether we are getting a high hemiacetal group in the glucose molecule or not so keep this reaction in mind okay what will happen this oxygen and hydroxyl group will react together and they will give us hemiacetal group and which is what which is a our cyclic structure of glucose so my dear brother and sisters in our glucose molecule it is uh, the uh, the cho group aldehyde group is not a free it, it is not in a state of free cho group it is in a combined state that is it is in a hemiacetal group so let me write c double bond o single bond h single bond o h h H O H O H H and the last one I will write slightly bigger C H two O H. Now look at here. This is our D glucose D positive sign because dextro rotatory and our glucose molecule. now it has alcohol and this carbonyl group as i have given you a general reaction what it will make it this oxygen will attack on our chiral carbon and this carbon oxygen double bond will convert into single bond and what will get i will write it after the arrow let me write here i will get here this oxygen this is our h this is our o negative it has it has this h group here oh let oh let me write it properly this is our o negative this o i am writing it here or i may write it to the down let me write where is it is present let me write first the structure o h h h o h o h h and this one is h and oxygen of this is getting attached with it so it is having this one it has one hydrogen also so i will write it for just for properly let me write it properly let me write it i will write this oxygen above okay so that we can easily remove the proton it is o positive because it has hydrogen i am writing this hydrogen here okay any difficulty till now i think so no what i am doing let me repeat once again this oxygen it it is getting attack on carbonyl carbon this is our carbonyl carbon it get attack with it now what happens next this carbon oxygen double bond gets converted into single bond and this oxygen has become o negative now this oxygen as it has formed three bond it has become o positive so to make it neutral this our oxygen this oxygen will attack on this it will abstract this proton and this hydrogen oxygen bond electron will shift towards oxygen and it will become a stable oxygen let me write next let me write the next i will rub this all the next structure the next structure the next structure is to make this oxygen stable so i will write the next structure here above c o h single bond o h 
H H O H O H H this one is H and here I will write CH2 OH okay now here it has hydrogen group hydrogen atom and this is our O it is getting attached with it let me write it it is getting attached with it okay now you will tell me sir what will be the condition if this OH group is on the left side so I will tell you yes there is another possibility is it may have this structure there is another possibility it may have another structure another structure is C O H H single bond O H H then H O H then O H H then our H CH two O H now what is what remains this our oxygen okay so this O negative of carbonyl it is getting converted into hydroxyl group there is a two possibility it may form a, to the right side or it may form to the left side so we have done here हमने यहां पर एक हेमीएसिटल रिएक्शन की है हेमीएसिटल रिएक्शन किसे कहते हैं जब अल्कोहल का ओएच ग्रुप अगर ऑक्सीजन अगर अल्कोहल का कार्बोनिल ग्रुप पर अटैक करता है तो उसे कार्बन ऑक्सीजन डबल बॉन्ड ब्रेक होकर सिंगल बॉन्ड में कन्वर्ट हो जाता और ये हमारा जो ऑक्सीजन है वो तीन बॉन्ड बनाता है जो कि उसके पास H पहले से ही था ये कार्बन के साथ वाला बॉन्ड ये भी पहले ही से ही मौजूद था जो एक नया बॉन्ड बना वो ये वाला है ये वाला जो नया बॉन्ड बना है इसके अंदर ओ निगेटिव है ये ऑक्सीजन अभी अनस्टेबल हो गया क्योंकि इसके पास तीन बॉन्ड है इसको स्टेबल करने के लिए ये ओ निगेटिव ने हाइड्रोजन पर अटैक किया और ये कार्बन हाइड्रोजन के या हाइड्रोजन और ऑक्सीजन के जो बॉन्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन थे वो ऑक्सीजन की तरफ शिफ्ट हो गए और ऑक्सीजन को स्टेबल कर दिए और यहाँ पर दो पॉसिबिलिटी है दो पॉसिबिलिटी क्या है कि अगर ये ओ एच यहाँ पर जो ओ निगेटिव बन रहा वो है तो या तो राइट साइड को ओ एच बन सकता है जैसा कि यहाँ पर बना है मुझे इसको थोड़ा सा हाईलाइट करने दीजिए मैं इसको थोड़ा सा हाईलाइट करता हूँ ये जो फर्स्ट कार्बन पे ओ एच बना है वो राइट right साइड को भी बन सकता है और या तो लेफ्ट साइड को भी बन सकता है दो पॉसिबिलिटी है अब यहां पर यह तो बन गया हमारा हेमी एसिटल ग्रुप हेमी एसिटल बन गया देखो यहां पर ये ओ आर है और ये सी ओ एच है हमने हेमी एसिटल का प्रोडक्ट देखा है हेमी एसिटल का प्रोडक्ट हमारे पास है वो है ये वाला ये हेमी एसिटल का प्रोडक्ट है ओ आर है देखो ओ विच इज अटैच टू कार्बन ओ आर ठीक है ओ एच भी है हमारे पास ओ एच भी है हमारे पास आर भी है आर भी है तो ये हमारा हेमी एसिटल ग्रुप में बन, बन गया अब अगर ओ एच राइट साइड को रहा फर्स्ट कार्बन पर फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ सेकंड सिक्स सो माय डियर ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर दिस टू मॉलिक्यूल्स दे आर डिफरिंग at first chiral carbon as you can see the remaining structure is same in the both but where they are differing they are differing at the first chiral carbon first second third fourth fifth sixth they are differing at first chiral carbon and this chiral carbon is known as anomeric carbon let me write its name its name is anomeric carbon anomeric carbon 
and omeric carbon. So these two compounds they are differing at anomeric carbon. That's why they are known as anomers. What will give name to them? As anomers. Anomers. They are anomers. Why they are anomers? Because they are differing at first carbon, that is anomeric carbon. First chiral carbon is anomeric chiral carbon. So, it, it is a, our D mo glucose molecule, okay, D glucose molecule, same here, D glucose molecule, okay, now, it is converted into, as this OH on anomeric carbon, on first chiral carbon, it is towards right side, so I will give name to these as alpha D positive glucose alpha d glucose next what will be name of this compound it has oh group towards left side so i will give name to this as let me write its name is beta d positive glucose glucose so this one is alpha d glucose and it is beta d glucose why are giving the, why are giving the name to them as alpha and beta because the first chiral carbon it has oh group towards the right side that's why it is alpha d glucose and the next compound which has OH group towards left side, this one, that's why I am giving the name it as beta D glucose. Did you got this? Now, now, we'll move towards our Harvard projection. Harvard is the name of scientist who has given this structure. Ab hum jo hai pyranose ki taraf banenge. Pahle to mai aap se ye puchna chaunga. I am expecting from you is do you know the structure of pyranose? Or, or I should say do you know the definition of heterocyclic compound? Yeah, you will tell me, yes sir, we know this, we know what is called heterocyclic compound. If a ring, if a ring contains, look at this ring. This is five, mem six member ring. It has five carbon, one, two, three, four, five. And the last one is oxygen. So I see koi ring, जिसके अंदर कार्बन के अलावा ऑक्सीजन, सल्फर, नाइट्रोजन प्रेजेंट हो, ऐसे रिंग्स को हिट्रोसाइक्लिक कंपाउंड कहा जाता है। हिट्रो, हिट्रोसाइक्लिक, हिट्रोसाइक्लिक कंपाउंड कहा जाता है? ऐसे कंपाउंड्स को क्या कहा जाता है? हिट्रो, हिट्रोसाइक्लिक, हिट्रोसाइक्लिक, हिट्रोसाइक्लिक कहा जाता है? So, what are heterocyclic compounds? If a cyclic ring contains another, uh, except carbon, another molecule like another item like oxygen, sulfur, nitrogen, other than carbon, that is oxygen, sulfur and nitrogen are called heterocyclic compounds. If a cyclic ring contains other than carbon like oxygen, sulfur and nitrogen are called heterocyclic. So I have this structure, it is called pyranose. I will write it again. Pyranose, structure of pyranose. Structure of pyranose. Let me write it properly. 
स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पायरानोस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पायरानोस इट इज कॉल्ड पायरान पायरेन इट इज ए पायरेन सो एनालॉगस टू दिस आवर ऑक्सीजन आवर ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल विल मेक अरिंग लाइक ए पायरेन पायरेन सो आई विल राइट हवत वट हवत हैज सेट हवत हवत इज अ नेम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट हवत एक साइंटिस्ट का नाम है जिसने हमें ग्लूकोज का साइक्लिक स्ट्रक्चर बताया है तो हम उसका साइक्लिक स्ट्रक्चर बनाएंगे हवत इज अ नेम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट हु हैज गिवन दी साइक्लिक रिंग स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्लूकोज सो फर्स्ट दिज आवर अल्फा डी ग्लूकोज आई विल कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू आवर पायरेन स्ट्रक्चर सो फर्स्ट वट एवर इज एट राइट हैंड साइड दे विल बी नेम एज अल्फा साइड दिस साइड इज अल्फा साइड एंड टू दी लेफ्ट दिस साइड इट इज बीटा साइड ओके इट इज बीटा साइड सो जस्ट टर्न इट टूअर्ड्स अल्फा साइड so that alpha side will go in a down position let me write five member ding it six member ding 1 2 3 4 5 and this oxygen is six look at here properly 1 2 3 4 five this one is five and i will write six is six to oxygen okay so it is six member ding this primary alcohol is presenting as a branch so don't look at here just count this how many groups are in a cycle oxygen this carbon 2 3 4 5 6 okay so let's move up towards let's move towards our six member ring okay this is our six member ring or i may write it properly let me write it oh again i did mistake okay This one is our six member ring. One, two, three, four, five, and this six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. First carbon. OH is towards alpha side, so alpha side is down. This is our alpha side, and above is beta side. So whatever present at alpha side will write. at alpha side this oh is towards alpha side i let me write it oh above to that hydrogen at this position at this position at carbon number 2 what is present at carbon number 2 carbon number 2 ke paas oh jo hai uska niche hai aur hydrogen upar hai fir hum kahan jayenge कार्बन नंबर तीन पर लेट्स मूव टूवर्ड्स कार्बन नंबर थ्री इट हैज एच टूवर्ड्स अल्फा साइड तो अल्फा साइड इज डाउन टू स्ट्रक्चर इट हैज एच एंड ओ एच नेक्स्ट व्हाट्स नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लेट मी राइट नेक्स्ट कार्बन नंबर फोर कार्बन नंबर फोर अल्फा साइड ओ एच लेट मी राइट ओ एच अब इट हैज हाइड्रोजन कार्बन नंबर फाइव this one is 5 so at this position there is a rule ch2oh will be above will be towards alpha side ch2oh is above and hydrogen is below did you got this let me rub this number so that our confusion will be no more hum yahan par jo hai humne kya kiye हमने जो है तो ये इसको दो हिस्सों में तकसीम किए अल्फा साइड और बीटा साइड और इसको हमने ऐसा 
टिल्ड कर दिए 90 डिग्री से 90 डिग्री से उसको झुका दिए झुक जाने के बाद जो अल्फा साइड है वो नीचे को आ गई और बीटा साइड ऊपर की तरफ चले गई जो भी ग्रुप अल्फा साइड की तरफ है उनको नीचे लिख दिया गया और बीटा साइड की तरफ जितने भी ग्रुप है उनको ऊपर लिख दिया गया ठीक है ये हो गया हमारा इसका नाम देंगे हम इसका नाम होगा अल्फा डी पॉजिटिव फॉर डेक्सट्रो रोटेटरी डी फॉर द लास्ट आसिमेट्रिक कार्बन हैविंग ओ एच ग्रुप टूवर्ड्स राइट साइड लुक एट हियर ओ एच ग्रुप टूवर्ड्स राइट साइड दिस ओ एच ओ दिस ओ एच टूवर्ड्स राइट साइड दैट इज वाई इट इज डी This positive sign for dextro rotation. It is rotating plane polarized light towards right side, and the name is gluco. 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 And it looks like pyrene. So, Howard has given the name pyranose. Pyranose. This O I C means it is a monosaccharide. Uh, that's why I have given the name alpha D positive glucopyranose. Next, this one beta, turn it towards right side with the ninety degree angle. ये हमने उसको turn कर दिए और हमको जो मिला वो यहाँ पर हम लिखने जा रहे हैं इसको सीधे हाथ की तरफ 90 डिग्री के एंगल से टर्न कीजिए अल्फा साइड ये जो है हमारी क्या ये अल्फा साइड ये अल्फा साइड है और ये वाली साइड कौन सी है ये बीटा साइड है बीटा साइड ओके तो अल्फा साइड को नीचे लाना है हमें तो अल्फा साइड अगर नीचे आ गया तो हमारे पास क्या बचेगा हमारे पास जो भी बचेगा हम उसे लिखेंगे यहाँ पर आइए हम लिखते हैं Let me write it again. Okay, this is our six-member ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Oh, I did mistake in numbering. I have to write numbering. From carbon, so I will write this as one, two, three, four, five, and this oxygen is six. One, two, three, four, five, and I will give number two. This oxygen has six. Okay. Now, at first, what it has? I will write the first like this. Towards alpha side, H. Alpha side is down to the board. Alpha H, beta side, O H. Then number two carbon alpha side O H beta side H number three carbon it has H towards the left or O H towards the right side fourth carbon fifth carbon fourth carbon पर क्या है हमारे fourth carbon it has O H towards the left and hydrogen towards the right what remains fifth carbon so there is a rule C H two O H group must be above. And H group must be down. So, what will be the name? Its name is beta D positive glucose. Beta D glucose. I think so. You got the idea of drawing this pyranose ring. Pyranose ring. Pyranose ring of our. glucose molecule so as it looks like pyrene ring so i will rub this osc and i will write glucopyranose glucopyranose so as i have given the name this compound as alpha d glucopyranose in the same way i have given the name beta d glucopyranose तो आइए आज हमने क्या सीखा है हमने ये सीखा कि हमारा जो ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल है इट इज नॉट ए इट इज नॉट हैविंग एल्डिहाइड ग्रुप एज ए फ्री सी ग्रुप इट इज इन अ कंबाइन स्टेट 
with our hydroxyl group OH group and it is present as a hemiacetal. Okay, the next point what we have learned then in the next step we have learned how to convert this ring structure into Harvard projection as pyranos. These two structures are look like this pyran ring because it is six membered ring, six member hydrocyclic. It is also a six member hydrocyclic. That's why we are giving name pyranose to this our glucose molecule. Okay, for the our fructose molecule, I will make another video for our as far as our channel is concerned. Please do like do subscribe and if you have any difficulty comment it in a comment box and please do watch our physics lecture our channel supremo dr sheik amjad afsar is already conducting lectures on physics that uh, the topics are kinetic theory of gases and the next uh, recent topic is radiations so watch his series do your support, keep watching, keep supporting. Thank you for coming on Amjad Academy.